there guys, John Campy here. Thanks for visiting my movie vlog. You know, we've been waiting for a while for the first trailer for the new Jason Statham giant shark movie, Meg. We've had a few images come out, but now the trailer is here. We've had a chance to watch it and enjoy it. Now let's break it down and dive into it shot by shot here. So let's get this thing going here. Okay, first of all, we're starting things off right away. Man on One Research Station, 200 miles off the Chinese coast. We're dealing with an undersea station here. Now, we understand that from the synopsis of the film too, but anyway, let's just keep going. The other thing I want to point out here is this is beautiful. This is really reminiscent a lot of, of these deep sea movies. And this undersea station here, if you kind of look at it, reminds me a little bit. It's got a sci-fi feel to it, almost like a Star Trek feel to it. Very clean, um, very smooth edges, all that kind of stuff. It's an interesting design choice. Of course, we got this little girl playing with her toy. Absolutely adorable little girl. And of course, okay, right, right there, right there. Nope, I'm out already. I'm, I'm completely out. Nope. I'm packing my bags and leaving at that point. Oh my God. And then this is the shot. The look, the look on the little girl's first, let's just say right now, that little girl's face is perfect. <laughs> like it's a total face of not understanding what it is she's looking at. And it's just, so the horror hasn't set in, just this real little bit of fear mixed with a whole lot of, I don't know what it is I'm looking at. And of course, what she's looking at is this bad mofo right here. Give me a break. That like, if I look, first of all, I have a hard time going in ocean water sometimes just because I saw Jaws when I was like 10 years old. This would just ban me from water forever. Anyway, we keep going here. And then, unbelievable, that's a great shot. The station shakes, the rundown, check it out. What the hell are we dealing with? And I love this shot here that we're about to get right there. There's a monster outside. Yeah, there's a monster outside. There's no not believing this kid because there's giant teeth marks on there. Now, here's a theory of mine. Now we've read in the synopsis of this film that Jason Statham is brought to rescue a bunch of people from like a deep sea station. And little do they know that Jason Statham's characters had experience with this animal before. I'm wondering if this whole sequence here that we get in the beginning of this trailer is the beginning of the movie showing his backstory. I'm wondering if these cracks in the glass from the, the uh, shark teeth, I'm wondering if this actually leads to the decompression of the entire station and he loses people he loves and then we fast forward. I, again, I don't know that. I'm just speculating, trying to put the pieces together from what I know in the synopsis, but either way, that's freaky as hell. Okay, let's keep going here. And Jason Statham knowing, now I'm gonna fight a shark. I'm gonna fight a shark. People discovered is bigger than we ever thought possible. Some beautiful underwater shots. And of course, in the obligatory, let's emphasize to the audience with some direct information about how big this shark really is. Largest shark that ever existed. There we go. A living fossil. Thought to have been extinct. Again, some beautiful underwater shots. Like some of the stuff looks gorgeous. Years. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. I dig that. And then, of course, now we're going to get this shot here. First of all, the giant squid attacking you, that's that's a nightmare out of everybody's uh, dreams. But this is a classic, uh, maybe a little bit overused shot, a little bit of a Star Wars The Phantom Menace. There's always a bigger fish. Of course, the sea monster gets you. And of course, a bigger sea monster comes along and eats that sea monster. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's Megalodon. It's a Megalodon. I'm sorry, I just got his voice from Snatch in my head at this point. Sorry. He's kidding, right? I love that Rain Wilson's in this. Like I read that Wayne Wilson was in this, but I totally forgot about it. And then when he popped up in the trailer, really dug it. I like Rain Wilson a lot. Now, this is interesting. The music choice here, I'm gonna admit, the first, my first time through watching the trailer, this music choice, I thought was a little bit off-putting. Like it goes counter to the kind of tone of the trailer. But then I got all the way through it and I watched again. I thought, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's the juxtaposition of that music to what is really going on that almost makes it even more eerie. So I didn't like the music choice at first, but now I'm on board with it. This is the shot of the trailer to me. I love this little shot. The dog. Okay, so you got a little dog. I'm, I'm going for a swim, blah, blah, blah. Sees the shark. Nope, fuck that. Turns around, goes. I like this. It's my favorite part of the trailer is that shot right there. All right, then we get silhouettes kind of highlighting how big the thing is really entirely. 
I love what they, uh, these little shots that they use to give you senses of perspective of the size of it. Because as it's sitting outside of the glass, you get a sense, yeah, this is a really big fish, sure. But it's when you get things like this, like really good perspective shots that gives you and an audience member a real kind of sense of the pure mass of the monster. And I think that's pretty cool that they do that. Why don't you just put a tracker on it? <laughs> don't you guys ever watch Shark Week? Maybe my second favorite moment of the trailer. Don't you ever watch Shark Week? I like that. And then, of course, the obligatory, whoa, look at the monster shots. You're like, we knew that was coming. It's like, oh no. <laughs> Jason Statham under the water. He's kind of got a negative attitude. And there you go. And again, more of that kind of perspective shot thing we were talking about, where we had the one surfer before, now we get a different perspective, a little bit higher up, seeing it amongst a hell of a lot more people, which again, gives you a better perspective. Terror, terror, terror. Chew on this, you ugly. I hope that chew on this, you ugly cut off isn't the last shot of the movie. Like, I hope that's not the climax of him taking out the shark. I hope they didn't just show us the last bit of the movie. So uh, I don't know, fingers crossed. A lot of very cool shots. <laughs> and Meg in a little forced perspective there. All right, so that is the trailer for Meg. Look, I, I liked it. It's it's It didn't blow my socks off. Um, I was hoping to see a little bit. And again, that musical choice took me a minute to get used to it. And I think I'm on board with the musical choice now. Again, the shot with the dog turning around is great. I think the shark itself looks fantastic. I mean, it looks old and ancient and war-torn and mean. And, and I really dig that. Uh, the underwater... Uh, sea station I thought looked really great. Those forced perspectives looks at the size of the shark against human people floating on the water. Hopefully we're going to get a lot of, you know, mowing down and chomping from the shark and all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, again, though, it gave us a lot of the obligatory stuff, right? This is who the guy is. This is his background. This is what the monster is. Oh, it's the big monster. And then show a lot of scary scenes of the monster chewing away on people. So it's kind of paint by numbers. I dig it. I liked it. I'm just, my socks haven't been blown off yet. But then again, it's just the first trailer. The real question here is, what do you guys think about this Meg trailer? Do you think it looks fun? Do you think it might get better with a further one? Are you okay with it because it's the first trailer? Maybe do you think it was lacking or do you think it was awesome? Jump down in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. And listen, guys, while you're here, wait, take a second, click on that subscribe button, become a subscriber to my YouTube channel, and follow me on Twitter, simply at John Campia. That'll do it for me for now, guys. My name's John Campia, and until my next video, bye bye